everyone, this is Bev from Art by Bedell, and I have a flip through of my Valentine journal to share with you. So the specs for this are, it is seven by 11 and a half, it has one signature, 52 pages. It is sewn together with a seven hole pamphlet stitch. It is fabric covered on a bag, a recycled bag. It has a snap closure. It has been machine stitched all the way around. The inside is some digital papers. Now the digital papers are from Shabby Valentine Collection by My Porch Prince, Love Definitions by Junk Journal Studio, Romantic Book Quotes by Digital Attic Studio. There's Miscellaneous Scrap Paper by The Paper Studio, K and Company, Sweet Ambrosia, and bouquet basics are both from recollections so here we have our cover our front of our journal and this um, crocheted border is something that i had done this is a vintage and it's not crocheted so maybe tatting i don't know what tatting looks like but there's some collage on the front there's some mommy gummy on the front this is like a canvas if you remember way back last year when I did the Who Am I lap book journal collection. I had made the cover from uh, some canvas. Uh, I don't know that it's canvas. It's, it's a heavy fabric. I'm not sure what it is, but anyhow, I had dyed it with inks and that. Well, I had a piece left, so I used that for this journal also. On the back, we have a vintage doily with some mommy gummy flowers that were hand that were punched with a Tim Holtz die, and a large paper clip. We have a dangle here on a safety pin of a heart, and then our closure is hidden here behind this, and you just uh, unsnap it like that. So we have this nice little snap on it, and it opens up. And here is the here is the closure. It's some mommy gummy paper with some digital and some fabric on it, and it has been machine stitched all over. It has a nice little heart charm here with a key and a locket. It's just real cute. And then we open it up, and we have our inside cover page here with our pocket. And it has a library card in here and a couple Valentines here and then some collage. Then we have, I put a fly leaf in this one. I thought that would be pretty cool. We have a piece of lace that looks like a heart. On the spine also, I did a header and a footer with some cheesecloth here and here. It gives a little bit of a pretty cool look to it. And then our first page is some hand-drawn um, watercolored paints with heart, well, hearts with paints. And some uh, washi tape here and a little rosette piece of lace. Then we, um, this is on ledger paper, and the other side of the ledger paper has some mommy gummy paper, some old lace, and some pieces from our digital collections. On this side, we have a flip out with the digital uh, Shabby Valentine collection here. And then these hearts are some that I had did for our challenge over at our Art by Bedell community page. And this this tag and then this Valentine here, this heart here. And then it opens up this way for some journaling. Our next page is a page made out of books, big books. And then we have some napkin art here with a valentine inside and then room for journaling here. So over on this page, we have a paper doily and then we have one of my baskets is, if you can peek down inside here, you can see it that I had made last fall, filled with some flowers, some paper flowers. And inside we have a doily and this is on a piece of, uh, I, I really don't know what kind of paper it is. It's almost like a newsprint, but it's heavier, it's thicker. And then on the opposite side, we have, oh, and then this piece of doily wraps around to the other side and it was hand stitched on. Some journaling space here, coffee stained copy paper with journaling space. 
an invoice, pink invoice sheet here with journaling space. And then this one has a process video that you can see and the playlist will be listed below. And it's a bunch of collaging with some French knots and ribbon. And on the back side, we have a pocket with, let's see, two, four, with four Valentines in it. Some beads alongside our heart here and some string behind it. This is a piece of vellum here, a half a piece of vellum. And you, it has a door on it that you can open up. And then some journaling space there. And then on the back side, we have more journaling space. This is a placemat, a paper placemat for like buffet dinners or whatever. And then I added some stenciling on it and journaling space. Here's our gatefold that the video got messed up on, so we didn't get a video for it. But it has a tie here that you just un untie. And then your gatefold opens up and you have journaling space inside here. Your little doily, you can leave it down so that it's inside or you can bring it up to the outside. There we go. On the back side is more journaling space and some more napkin art here. This is a piece of jelly print that I had done. And then I added a stenciled rose here and then I watercolored it. And this is some Asamic writing here. And then on this piece that folds over and you open it up, we have a paper pad. And then just some more ink on our paper. This is a piece of uh, handmade paper that I had bought. And it's just a very hot pink color. <laughs> and some more handmade paper. This piece of handmade paper was from, I purchased it from Hero Arts. On our ties for our signature, I have some polymer clay beads that I had made. And then over here, we have a border that I had add, added some eyelets and then wove some ribbon through up and down and some crazy stitching and the same on the back side of that and then over here we have some more of the napkin art and some journaling space on this side and this is uh, sheet music paper that is scrapbook paper we have uh, pockets made out of book pages and then it each has three journal cards in it. So there is a Cherish one, a Destiny one, and a Passionate one. This is the opposite side of the placemat and the vellum. Again, with another door. This pocket has four valentines in it. Now these valentines you could leave in here and you can journal on the back or you can pull them out and give them away and then just journal on the back side of this. We have a page tab at the top from some lace. This is the coin envelope and in the playlist there is a video for this, a process video, and it just opens up here and then inside the coin envelope, we have a journaling card. And we'll put that back in. And then also there is a pocket here. And inside the pocket is a larger journaling card. Now the stenciling, this stenciling I had done with a plastic doily. And it just made a really uh, fine, uh, nice little design on some of our pages. This is the invoice, and I had stenciled on top of that with some vintage photo ink on both sides. Coffee stain, copy paper with journaling room. Uh, the back side of our music page, the hand stitching is from the other side, and that's the lace I told you that carried around. And then the paper lace with some napkin on it. And then inside we have a certificate of marriage and this was a digital I believe I got from Louisa Heinzel I, I think or maybe I'm not sure where I got it and then one of these little tiny paper clips that I purchased from uh, Amazon 
Over here is our book page and we have some, this is wax paper that I had been using for cleaning up some paint, extra paint and stuff. So it has some watercolor and some stencil embossing. And then this is my dear friend Linda made this and shared it with me. It's napkin art and I'm not even sure what the paper is that she put that on. I'll have to ask her. Linda, you could put it in the comments below if you watch this video. Here we have our belly band, and inside this are three more Valentines, and there should be a video in our playlist for this too. The belly band was created for Mommy Gami, some cheesecloth, some ribbon, and then some tickets from one of our kits, and then some crazy stitching. And then at the top we have a dangle with a heart and a key. This is our ledger paper with, with a nice collage up here, and you can journal all on this. And then some more of my hand-drawn painted hearts here. And our uh, this is parchment paper that I added a layer of gesso on one side to, and I wanted it to be like a fly leaf page. This is the back cover, inside cover, and a piece of our digital kit. And that concludes the flip through of the Valentine journal. I hope you liked it. And like I say, there's a playlist listed below that you can see some of the videos. I didn't do all the pages. I think there's maybe three, three videos in the playlist. If you are interested in this journal, if it's not marked sold, then you will be able to head on over to my Etsy page to to purchase this journal. So thank you for watching. You have a great day and we'll see you again soon. Bye now.